Hello friends and welcome back to the kitchen. I'm not going to be cooking today. This is going to be a hodgepodge of a little bit of everything. I thought I would take the camera and go show y'all y'all the garden and show planting because I didn't have a lot of faith in it. But we've got a beautiful stand of green beans and the big garden down on the other end of the property. Uh, the purple hull peas look wonderful. They're blooming. And we're getting lots of okra. We're picking every other day a couple of gallons. So I thought I would walk out there and let y'all see the two garden areas. And then I've pulled everything out of my little raised beds out back. And I'll probably show you that. It looks kind of raggedy. But it'll be pretty when I get greens planted and they start growing in the fall. We don't plant them here until the end of October 1st of November. So I've got a time to wait before I plant my greens. Then when I get plumbed through with all of this, I'm going to play two or three songs that people have requested uh, on the piano. So y'all just come walk along with me and look at the garden and listen to me talk and uh, we'll have this going on. I've got everything pulled out of my beds and my tomato plants are out of my pots and the, my tomato cages are out there waiting to be put in their proper place. I have all my little beds emptied and all of my pots emptied. I have a bunch of pots over there. Out there by the chicken pen, I've got those emptied. And I'm fixing to walk out there and let the chickens out, so I'll take y'all out there with me. We're just going to kind of walk along and do whatever out here today. And then we're going to go down and look at both gardens and uh, see what's going on down there. Hey ladies, are y'all waiting at the door? That's my little ladies. Yes, it is. Yeah, let's let those little ladies out there spoil. They have a big old fan blowing on them out here. Come on, my ladies. Just my babies. Come on. I don't know what this camera's all about. Come on, girls. Yeah, come on, you little darlings. Because I'm going to go in and see how many eggs we have. Sure, I'm going to see if we've got eggs in here. One, two, three, four, five. And there's none over there. And there's none in these. Well, we got five, so that's pretty good. Six chickens, five eggs. They just love it when they get out every day. Boy, they come out here and start scratching and digging. And I haven't had to worry about them because I haven't heard a chicken hawk in ages. But today, wouldn't you know, I heard a hawk. So I hope the good Lord protects them because I can't stay out here and watch them all the time. Hey, ladies, what y'all finding? Did you find a bug? Did you find a bug, girl? one little sprig of that marble queen uh, ivy and I put it in that clay pot and put it out here and oh my goodness it's just growing like crazy it just tickles me to death everything out here is growing pretty good there's my little back walkway and everything in there is green and pretty okay we're gonna go uh, down and look at the other garden uh, both gardens, the one at the other end and the one up here, and then I'll be back in here and I'll sit down and play a little bit. Our green beans are really doing well. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows here. And uh, I think we're going to do well with them. If the deer don't get them, we've had deer again, so it's a Hope, hope the deer stay away, but I'm real pleased with the green beans. Got a little bit of corn where Troy tilled in everything where it came up volunteer. And then I've got some rows over here that are kind of grown up on the very edge that he'll run the tiller through again. And uh, I'll plant some collards, mustard, and turnip greens down. He'll get all that grass out and I'll plant there when the time comes for our area. The okra has lots of blooms on it. I'm just so proud of it. And it's long rows. Let me get over here and see if I can just see. It goes all the way, way down there. And then look at all the peas. Lots of rows of peas here. 
got plumes on them. They're looking so good. I just hope the deer find something else to eat besides peas. I think they need to go eat grass or something because they need to leave my peas alone. But we've got some blooms. I see blooms. Let me see if I can zoom up some. Maybe y'all can see some of the blooms. I see blooms all out there, so we'll have peas before too long. How many rows? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve rows. And then lots of picking down here if the deer don't beat us to them. Oh, they're so big and green. And pretty. We've had just enough rain to make them just look so pretty. Okay, I'll bring y'all in for an update when they have purple peas sticking up on them. That'll be a happy day. Somebody requested the, the song, just want to tell you I'm thankful for all that you've done. And that's how I feel today. My heart is full of gratitude for God's blessings to me.
when I was just a kid, there was a man that came to church and and, and he was saved. But he was just an old honky-tonk fiddler. And I don't know what the man's name was. Anybody from around Cleveland from years ago might remember him. Everybody just called him Champ, Champ Pruitt, because he was a champion fiddle player. Well, I don't know if y'all ever been to a Pentecost church before or not, but we have really good hoedown music, used to, back when I was growing up. And uh, everybody wanted Champ to learn to play a church song where he could play in church. Well, there is a church song called The Great Speckled Bird, and it's to the same tune as one he'd been playing for a long time called My Pretty Blue Eyes. So I never will forget the night that he got up on the platform, and let me tell you, he did evermore play The Great Speckled Bird. In his mind, that wasn't what he was playing, but the good Lord liked the effort, and it was such a blessing to our congregation.
thank y'all for coming along today and looking at the gardens and looking at the chickens and listening to me and sitting here while I tried to play the piano. I'm going to assure y'all it's not because I think I can play good because I make a lot of mistakes. A lot of people can certainly do more than I can. But my mama told me something a long time ago. She said, baby, when you've done your best, you've done as good as anybody in the world could do when they're doing their best. Because your best is all you can do. So if you're battling with feeling inadequate upside somebody else or you can't do what this one can do as well as they can do it, friend, if you're doing your best, then you're just as good as the one that won the blue ribbon because all they did was their best. Remember that. God don't make mistakes. You were fearfully and wonderfully made, and he gave to each one a talent. Somebody might have one that's a little spiffier than yours, but when you're using what God has blessed you with to the best of your ability, I could put you up beside anybody in the world because you're doing your best. Y'all take heart in this world that we're living in in times of of sadness and, and all that we're going through, the pandemic and everything on top of, there's just a lot of stuff piled on top of each other that's making it a heavy load. But I want you to know God's in control. He sets kings up and he takes them down and he's gonna see us through. So just remember who's really in control. It's not the Democrats or Republicans, it's Almighty God. Let's see how the end turns out. Y'all come back in a day or two and we'll do something else.